Hello everyone and welcome to the Monarchy Season 3. We are here, we're back, it's the desert again, and I just created a survivor and immediately died, so we are about ready to jump in. So please, let me know in the comments if you guys are able to see and hear me, and let's get started. We're gonna respawn in the easy zone and try to get a start here and hopefully not die immediately, because uh, last time we spawned right into the mouth of a raptor. Oh look, do you guys see that? It's a titanosaur. I was just saying how I just, I'm like a titanosaur magnet, right? I always seem to run into titanosaurs and, and there's one right, like the moment I spawn in, he spawns in. I don't know guys, seems to be a thing about that. All right. So I just grabbed a few berries and uh, you know got to level up just by starting this out while I was trying to test out the settings. So please let me know in chat if you guys can see and hear me. And uh, thankfully we've spawned in an area that's not quite as dry as some places. We do have some plant life and everything, but I really need a rock, like really badly, because I need to make some tools. I'm gonna try to uh, get some stuff together so I can survive. We received a message from Willie, the sheriff, that we need to proceed to a town that is hidden somewhere, uh, somewhere around the map, a little bit to the north of us, it looks like. So, I'm gonna try to survive for a little bit, get to where I can actually make myself a bed and make my way in the direction of the town. But first things first, we need a rock. And I'm trying real hard to find one. You know, these all look like rocks, but uh, I, I'm not totally convinced. Here we go. So I need to get a rock so I can make a pick, make some tools, and uh, get started on crafting things. But, uh, you know, none of these rocks seem to be working. Come on, rocks. I need a rock really badly. All right, all right. So we got some berries. I'm just going to try to, like, drop some stuff because, uh, you know, we're going to run out of uh, run out of everything. All right, let me get to... Wow, we are dying fast. I have never put any points into fortitude, but... I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, I feel crazy putting points into fortitude already, but uh, it's the desert. Everything everything is crazy in the desert. Okay, finally, we got some rocks, all right. So let's see if we can uh, get some wood and thatch. Hopefully one of these things will work. And uh, let's see, I don't like sand. Gets everywhere, it's rough, it's coarse, you know. Let's get rid of that. All right, so if you're trying to chat in the stream and you're not able to, um, I've actually got it set to subscribers only. So if you subscribe to the channel, you can chat and let me know if the audio and video is coming through okay. And uh, let me know if it's too dark too. I, I don't want it to be too dark. Uh, all right, we still need some wood. Let's just eat a bunch of stuff and see if we can get some wood here. This Joshua tree, there we go. That Joshua tree had wood on it, okay. So apparently wood is actually extremely hard to get your hands on in the desert. And uh, so we're gonna try to get the stuff we need here. Now, we got some really interesting rules here in the monarchy this time because uh, it's a little different. We've got some cool mods going on. And let me see if I can break this rock over here. There we go, we got some flint, we need some tools. And uh, we need to get ourselves some stuff so we can survive, hopefully. Okay, awesome, campfires are unlocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft that. Oh good, okay, we've got uh, we've got basic cloth gear unlocked. That's awesome. Okay, I've got some fiber. I'm gonna try to get some decent clothes because that's actually gonna help me. What is this Parasaur? Look at that guy. All right, let me get a little bit more, uh, let's get some more stamina. We're gonna, we're gonna be running a lot, I think. So I'm gonna try to get uh, just a little bit of stuff to help me survive. I'm gonna go ahead and put some clothes on. Here we go, okay. Let's see if we can get some gloves and boots. All right, we need hide for boots. We need hide for gloves. Okay, can we make a storage box? Yes, well, oh, hello, I, I hear something. Whoa, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, okay, we're dropping some stuff fast. Um, yep, abandon ship, <laughs> abandon ship. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was just uh, I was just talking about how I always run into titanosaurs and um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, Dread. Welcome, welcome to the to the Monarchy stream. It's good to see you. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like you guys can see and hear me. Okay. I'm uh, I'm I'm in trouble though. I'm dying and uh, yeah, it's very very cold. I'm gonna try to get uh, a little bit further away from that Titanosaurus and uh, 
All right, looks like we got a fight coming up over there. I'm gonna try to get warm, so let's see if I can actually get like a torch going, and uh, I'll catch up on chat in a second. But uh, you know, gotta gotta survive first, and uh, we got a Titanosaurus right over there. So let's see if we can get. All right, do you guys hear that Jerboa? He's kind of freaking out, which is kind of freaking me out. All right, is this uh? There we go. Okay. So we can get some stone and stuff. Let me see if I can get a campfire again. I had to drop my campfire so that I could uh, run away from that Titanosaurus. All right. Let's see. We got some wood, a little bit of thatch. Let's get that lit up. All right. Let's see if I can get just warm enough to actually, like, not be, you know, freezing to death. Because that's how... Uh, that's how it works out in the desert. Okay, I actually really need that wood. By the way, you guys, I usually do everything in first person view, um, but I'm, I'm trying it out third person just to see if you guys like that. So let me know in the comments if this is helpful, if you guys are liking being able to see my character a little more. Okay, so I got a campfire, I got a torch, and we got a storm coming, <laughs> all right. Welcome to the desert where everything is crazy. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if we can get like, you know, um, maybe a little shelter built up here. What do we need here? Do I have actually unlocked the engrams for this? Okay. We're gonna just we're gonna just try this. You're just gonna try to build a little tiny base right under here. See if I can get any wood from these cacti or uh, you know, maybe this thing over here. I am totally new to Scorched Earth, you guys. Like I I've played all other aspects of arc like a ton but scorched is totally new to me okay we got some wood there let's see if we can get some thatch out of this without actually moving there we go okay the uh the rates are, are pretty amazing right now okay we need to get some fiber and here's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drop all of my inventory all of it I'm gonna grab some fiber real quick i'm freezing again it's not looking great uh all right where's the fiber here go. Freezing again. We've got a storm. There's a kangaroo. Probably wants to kick my butt. Okay. Let's see if we can actually craft a foundation here. All right. We need wood, thatch, fiber. Got a foundation. Got a box. We're, we're moving. All right. Let's see here. See if we can just do a little wall. <laughs> Get a little bit of shelter. I don't know if this is even going to be helpful right now, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try and see if we can just, like, build ourselves a little tiny box here and survive the storm. What is this? Hold on a second. That does not look like a normal box here, you guys. Did I just craft something weird? Decor box. Okay. My bad. <laughs> that is not what I thought it was. Hold on a second here. All right, let's get ourselves, uh, you know, maybe we can get a little bit more fortitude. I, I hate spending points in fortitude, but I mean, we're gonna be dying fast if we don't. All right, let's see here. Can we unlock a regular box? Uh, storage box, yeah, okay, so we've got that. We've got a storage box unlocked, just need to find it. There we go. Okay, need a little bit more fiber. I'm gonna try to get some storage going here. And we'll get that right here, okay. Need like 10 fiber. All right, we should have that now. Well, this storm doesn't seem to be killing me, so maybe I won't even worry about that right now. We can uh, actually head up towards the, uh, the sheriff's office, try to get ourselves to town. Let me see if I can actually unlock any weapons here. You know, we're, we're trying to get everything to where we can actually, like, survive out here. Okay, I do have a spear unlocked. I've got a water skin. Sleeping bag. Okay, I need to get some hide. Let's see if I can go ahead and craft a spear here. Let's see if we can just get that going. All right, we need some flint. We'll get that. And then we'll try to hunt some small stuff. See if we can get a sleeping bag so we're not going to just, like, immediately die. And uh, maybe we'll actually survive the night, you know? Do a little bit of hunting, hopefully, that'll work. All right, here we go. All right, let's find something to hunt, guys. Need to get some food, need to get some shelter. Oh, oh now this is, this is good, okay. Got a dead raptor already. All right, all right, we might be able to actually get a sleeping bag up here. You know what, hold on. Let's see if we can do something here. Is this buildable? All right, does not look like it. Okay, that was worth a try. Let me see if I can get a little outpost going on top of one of these boulders so I've at least got a respawn point. Okay. 
Because if we can if we can find a place where we can actually like get some shelter off the ground, we can get a sleeping bag down, maybe actually come back and respawn. So let's see what we can find here. And uh, then I'll catch up on chat a little bit. Alright, so let me let me warm up by the fire just a little bit. I'm gonna try to cook this meat so I can, you know, not starve to death. That's always a good plan. Alright, we got some cactus sap and all that stuff. Let's see if we can get our little storage box down since I can actually find this. Alright, that decor box. I need some wood. Alright, there we go. Hello! It is bit more Dave! <laughs> Dave, we are on live stream! Can you hear me, Dave? <laughs> we are live. Let me uh, let me unlock my fire in case you would like some. Uh, is this is this lockable? Unlock. Here we go. See if I can give you a little bit of food and stuff. <laughs> well, I cannot hear you, Dave. If you can hear me, but uh, yeah, would you like some tools and maybe some food? <laughs> this is great that we're running into each other here. I don't have much, but what I have is all yours. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me, Dave. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have some cooked meat in a second. See if I can do a little, uh, little torch for Dave here. At least we got a decent start. This is awesome. I'm already running into bit more Dave, my old uh, friend and tribe mate. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, we can both survive here. Cause you know, I'm starving too. We are like super low on health, but uh, all right. So that should be cooking in a second. I'm surprised it's not cooked yet. <laughs> oh, here we go. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, the storms are out of control on this map. That's so true. All right. Let me see here. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can get a storage box going. I always forget like which things you can get wood from and which you can't. Cause I mean, this is all brand new to me. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting that Morella tops to kill me. All right, here we go. Let me get a storage box down. Oh, that is weird. You're hearing other people through my mic. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know, a little communication issue, but we'll do our best. All right, let's see if I can unlock that. Okay. Drop some stuff in here. See if Dave could use anything. I'm gonna just type to Dave. Oh, looks like Dave just passed out. Okay. I'm not sure if disconnected or dead. Oh, dang, I'm about to pass out too. Okay. Um, what am I passing out from? Um, well, this is fun. I'm going to just like eat stuff as fast as I possibly can. Yep, desert is crazy. Um, I'm not even fami familiar with like why, why am I dying here? Okay, let's auto craft. That was the problem. All right, hold on. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, that should be enabling auto craft. So that should start cooking now. Uh, let me see if I can drag Dave to a slightly safer place here. Maybe not. Okay, he's already overweight, so I can't. All right. Well, we've got some stuff set up. I'm going to just try to get this sleeping bag down near these rocks. See if I can put it down up here. So at least we'll have some semblance of safety and shelter if we can. Nope. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, that's that's Dave dead. Okay. We got somebody else over here. This is uh this is not looking too good. All right. Dave is disconnected. That means there's nothing we can do to help him and he's already dead. 
I just put down a sleeping bag, but uh, that's not going to be very helpful. So I'm thinking maybe I should get out of here. All right. Morella tops are going crazy here. So I've heard that uh, with the Morella tops, if they uh, get some more stamina, because I'm going to be running here. I'm going to start heading a little bit north because um, it seems like that's where we need to go for the town. Hello. <laughs> I, I I keep getting little blips of people's voices here and there. All right, we're going to eat some cactus sap. We're going to start exploring a little bit further north here. Hopefully Dave can find some of that stuff. Oh, dang, I lost. Okay, I haven't placed down my sleeping bag yet. We need to find a place to put this so we can respawn. I'm going to see if anything is like decent shelter out here. Because that would be really helpful if we don't lose all of our stuff, you know. Okay. I want to find some some rock that I can get up on top of so I can actually like place this down and have a little bit of shelter. Uh, this this might do. It's at least on the edge of something. Okay. <laughs> let's see here. Yeah, let's try to climb up on these rocks. That might help a little bit. It looks like we're getting closer to uh, daytime. All right, here we go. Let's just make this our first little sleeping bag spot. Here we go. And uh, we're just gonna come, we'll have a respawn at least. Here we go, all right. That titanosaur is really kind of freaking me out there, you know? All right, we got some Dodicarus here. Oh my gosh, Niveus Frost, thank you so much. We, we have a big gift of five memberships from Niveus Frost, thank you. I really appreciate that, that's awesome. Let me catch up on chat a little bit. I got uh, kind of distracted because we, uh, you know, we're trying to survive and uh, met some survivors and uh, everything got crazy. Morella tops appeared and uh, it just got nuts. So uh, yeah, I'm heading towards the north where the um, the town is supposed to be. Hopefully, we'll run into some more people. And uh, okay, is this a jug bug with water? Yes, it is a jug bug with water. Okay, we got a drink from the jug bug. Now he's taken off. So those blue jug bugs. Titanosaur man, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Okay, nope, nope, nope. We are noping on out of here. All right, glad I got some stamina already because yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, we are getting out of here. Okay, so um, I dropped a tool for Dave. Let me see if I've got another pick here. All right, let's see. Yeah, I need to make another pick. All right, we need to get some thatch. We'll just, we'll just grab some of this real quick. I think these will drop us some thatch, yep, all right. And we're gonna keep heading up towards the north. I need to get some more spears. And hopefully that, th there's the Titanosaur. He's still, he's still just chilling over there. I think people keep kind of like blinking in and out of my audio. So uh, yeah, that's it's not the audio going crazy. I think we're just getting in and out of people's range. I'm actually not sure. There we go, okay. I think my mic is turned off. Oh. We got a green drop up here, guys. All right, let's see. We're still heading in the northern direction, so we're still heading in the right the right way we need to go. I'm gonna try to find some like sleeping bags and stuff that we can find here. And uh, all right, I'm getting real hungry here. Need to eat some cactus sap, eat some berries. All right, we're just gonna grab a bunch of stuff. I haven't been able to cook any meat because uh, you know, being super smart, I accidentally disabled. Okay, something's freaking me out here. Wow, this is so spooky, you guys. <laughs> Check out these. Oh, there's a raptor, okay. Gonna give him some space, and by that I mean a lot of space. All right, does he see us? I don't think he sees us. I'm gonna just run for this green drop. If we die, we've got a sleeping bag. We're gonna try this. Is that him right on the other side? Of course it is. Of course. Nope, okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm running. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a rock golem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's uh let's let's dodge and weave. <laughs> dodge and weave. Um that was uh that was a little bit horrifying. Okay. So Oh, great. A thyla. Just what I needed. Run away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh gosh. Nope. I don't think we're going to survive this one. I don't think we're going to make it this time. Oh, okay. We survived a rock golem and the Thyla got us. Welcome to Scorched Earth. All right. 
<laughs> so, um, we didn't make too much progress, but at least we have a sleeping bag we can respawn at. I'm actually kind of glad it's nighttime because, um, we're not burning to death right now, but, uh, yeah. Back to square one, got no tools, and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do now. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna try to get at least a spear. I really need bolas. Let me actually see if I've got an unlock, if, I, if I've unlocked bolas, or if that's even possible right now, because, uh, here's the thing. I'll explain things in a minute. Um, okay, we're not high enough level for bolas. Oh, okay. We can't unlock beds yet, either. Okay, that's a problem. All right, all right. So we're doing some very unusual rules with uh, Ark Survival Ascended this time. And I'll explain that in just a second, once I get moving again. Um, yeah, give me one second here. All right, we need to get some wood. I need to get a pick going. We're just gonna beat up on cactus because that's a great idea, you know, just beating up on a cactus. Tell you what, guys, in real life, if you pick a fight with a cactus, the cactus will win every time. Cacti never start fights, but they always finish them. All right, let's get uh, get some of that, get some of this. All right, we need some thatch. All right, I think this Joshua tree in the middle here should give us some thatch. At least the rates are really good, so we can go quickly. And uh, let's get some fiber and some berries here. All right, we're a little bit cold, so uh, I'm gonna try to get my torch here so we can grab some berries, get some fiber. We'll try to get some clothes real quick. I uh, totally forgot, I should have given Dave some clothes. Um, Cancel that, all right, get some, uh, some pants. Always have pants when you're in the desert, right? All right, we'll get at least a little tiny bit of armor. Okay, we got a couple spears. I think we're about ready to get back, back to work. Oh, a Rex, okay, that's great. So is he in the way? No, we're going this way. When you see a Rex, you go the other way. Just, just let him do his thing, all right? Let him do his thing. Okay, so we're gonna try to get um, a little bit more stuff here. Um, did I just hear something? I don't like when I hear stuff like that. <laughs> Sounded kind of like a snake. Yeah, don't like that at all. All right, uh, let's get some more spears. What do we need, what do we need? We need wood, all right. I think these cacti can give us wood. All right. I really wish I had bolas right now. But we'll just make do with spears and see what we can do. That's the best we can do right now. Okay. Um, gonna get a little bit more fortitude. I think I'm gonna try to get like 10 fortitude, so I'm not just always dying here. So it's when it gets when it gets to daytime, it's gonna be really hot. We're gonna be in bad shape. Okay, so we know that that green beam right there marks the location of a green drop. And also a rock golem that will kill us and a Thyla that will just, you know, destroy us really fast. So, we're gonna go in this direction, yeah? All right, I hear I hear a jug bug. You guys in the in chat, let me know, do jug bugs drop hide or just chitin? Cause I could actually use some hide really badly and uh, oh man, I do not like being in so many tall plants that I can't see what's going on, right? Have you guys ever watched Jurassic Park, you know, like when they go into the tall grass? That's when the raptors appear. All right, all right. I wish we could see a little bit better, but it's all good. It's all good. We are still moving in the right direction as far as I know. That's green ob right there, which is like actually super dangerous. But we'll keep, we'll keep going in this direction, but we're gonna give uh, plenty of space around where that thyla was. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna go all the way around to the left here, actually. Cause to the right is Green Ob, and uh, I know enough about the map now to know that that's very dangerous. So uh, we're gonna try to survive on berries for a little while and uh, you know, see if we can make it up towards the town. I just saw a really big tail. I don't like the sound of that. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to get towards the, uh, towards the edge of the cliff. Okay, I hear Parasaurs. But uh, let me let me explain some of the rules so you guys understand why I'm running on foot. But this this sounds like a storm's coming. Storm is coming. All right. Oh, great, a raptor. Just what I need. Okay. Without bolas, I am in trouble. Like if I if I 
encounter a raptor, there's really no way I can survive that raptor with without bolas. Oh man, look at the sky, you guys. This looks amazing. Okay. I'm gonna try to give these guys a lot of space here. See if I can jump down. All right, maybe I can parkour my way down here without dying. Yep, okay, okay. So far, so good. It's getting close to daytime, so the early morning, wait, never mind. It's not quite, not quite lost my, uh, my freezing cold, but it's close. All right, I'm heading in this direction. We're gonna see if we can make some progress. I'm still looking for anything that I could possibly kill. Uh-oh. Okay, the music was just saying it's morning. Good morning, everybody. Scary music to say good morning, but that's how, that's how it is. Okay, I think I've given, oh. <laughs> I was just saying, I think I've given enough space for that raptor over there. And then there's another one right over there. Okay, great, great, just great. All right, so we're gonna try. Oh, 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 I think, let's see. Okay, okay. Oh, there's, an, there's a baby Anki. All right, so here's the deal, guys. That Listro, I'm pretty sure that's a Listro. I should be able to kill it. But those Morella tops, there's more than one. So they're gonna come after me. Yes, okay, please, please let me kill this before. Nope, did they see me? Oh, not quite, not quite. All right, stop Listro. Oh gosh, okay, I can't do this yet. All right, so here's the deal. With Morella tops, if there's one by itself, they are non-aggressive and they run away. If there's more than one, they will kill you. So, I need to get these Listros down before the Morella tops goes after me like this. Okay, is he coming? No, no, okay, okay. We gotta get this Listro. That, that Morella tops is really freaking me out. Okay, okay, need this hide and I need to get away. This hide is my lifeline right here. Okay. Gonna give these guys a little space. There's some shelter back there. Okay, can I get that other Listro? I need, I need like two of these to be able to get hide. All right, these guys are getting too close. I'm gonna keep looking for more Listros. I'm gonna try to kill this jug bug just for the heck of it after I get a little drink. So it's still cold enough that I'm not dehydrating too fast. Thank you, thank you for the drink. I would really like your hide now. Um, okay, that was worth a shot. All right, I see the canyon. We've got some water down there and some dire wolves. Great, just what I needed, okay. Um, gonna give them some space. We've been alive for a long time, you guys. Um, but we need, we need more hide, I think. Okay, do you hear that? That's a thorny dragon. Those guys are bad news. All right, how much do I need for a sleeping bag? Oh, okay, okay, we can make a sleeping bag. We are gonna drop this. We are making some progress, right? Maybe. We're going We're going kind of in the wrong direction, but I'm gonna drop this down anyway, because uh, we've got some stuff that we can actually kill, and we might have a better chance of survival here. Okay, so we're dropping that sleeping bag here. Every time we can get a sleeping bag down, we're increasing our odds of getting closer to the uh, to the town. So I'm heading up this direction now. And there's dire wolves, great, all right. So we gotta find more stuff to kill for more hide so we can get more sleeping bags. And uh, hopefully get ourselves up here before we freeze to death. Oh, it's freezing again, yeah. Cause it's the desert, everything's crazy in the desert. <laughs> It just really is. All right, so I'm trying to stay close enough to this canyon because there's water in the canyon. Now, uh, that way, if I really need it, I can risk my life to go take a drink down there because uh, running out of water is one of the biggest ways to die in the desert. Of course, you know, being the desert. All right, we got ants over there. Great, just great. Um, my torch doesn't seem to be helping with the freezing cold now. That's also great. All right. I could really use some cooked meat, but uh, I don't think I can afford to stop very long. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna need to get up on top. Always have the high ground, you guys. Uh, that's that's one of the, some of the best advice Obi-Wan Kenobi gives, right? Always have the high ground. So let me see if I can climb back up here. All right, you know what? We're gonna go the easy way. There we go, over here, yep. Oh, by the ants, all right. Let's do this, wah, YOLO. Okay, got some ants after me, right? Yep, okay. We're just gonna run, all right. Um, I hear a thorny dragon. 
Uh, he's after me. I don't know where he is, but I'm running. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It is time to run. I'm hoping my stamina saves my life because, uh, we don't have much going for us, guys. We do not have much going for us to help us survive. And is that a sandstorm? <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Anything chasing us? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Wow, the clouds look amazing here, you guys. Like, this is just... Oh, hello. Who is this? Duck. September Duck. Okay, so we may have survived a little bit longer than September Duck. That's good news anyway. Um, I'm going to try to work my way around this way. See if we can head north a little bit. Okay, so we're still heading towards the north a little bit. And uh, we're going to keep looking for stuff. There's another survivor out there. Oh, and there's a Jerboa. Okay. I don't want to be terrible, but Jerboas might be one of our only things we can actually effectively kill. Oh, gosh, that's a Microraptor. Um, oh, that's okay. Run straight into a cactus. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. Okay. Okay, we're getting out of here. I tell you what, we're getting a great tour of the desert, though, aren't we? Like, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, I don't, I don't know if this guy in front of me is going to be able to see me. At least we can eat some cacti to, uh, up. I'm seeing damage numbers. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to kill this Jerboa. I'm sorry, Jerboa. It's survival of the fittest. Wait, why am I carrying him? I don't want to, no, no, don't, don't touch that. Ugh. Okay. I really need your hide, little guy. Oh, that was very helpful. Okay. Okay. Let's get some sleeping bags down. That might be enough for two sleeping bags, you guys. Okay. I'm hearing I'm hearing a dragon, and that's freaking me out. Okay. Let's get this sleeping bag down. Alright. Here we go. Okay. Got another sleeping bag down, and we're going to continue our journey to the north. Thank you, Jerboa. Uh-oh, that's the dragon. That's the dragon. Run! Running, running, running as fast as we can before the guy notices us. Okay. What is this? I can't tell what this is. Is it a Listro? Yeah! That's just what I needed. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, dang it, I hit him too many times. Okay, I got a little bit of hide, but I need a lot. All right, all right, let's do this. Here we go, okay. Oh gosh, okay, running away. What was that? Nope, 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 nope and on out of here. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try to lose him on the rocks, lose him in the cactus. I'm starving, I'm, I'm dying. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, okay. Gotta run through the cactus. Maybe he won't like, oh, a saber tooth. Just what we needed. All right, that just went from bad to worse, okay. The new AI pathing system is really messing me up here. Okay, okay. Great, great. He's not take he's not he's not getting fooled. Oh gosh, okay. Nope. I don't think we're going to make it, guys. I I don't think we're going to make it. Whew. Well, that was fun. All right. Uh Well, we've got sleeping bags, so let's do this. Every time we respawn, we lose our sleeping bag. That's a problem, right? <laughs> uh oh. I just remembered there's a uh, thorny dragon over here. All right, let's see if we can get back to our corpse. If we can get back over there, we oh, okay. We've got some stuff we need. <laughs> Cause uh, we had a lot of stuff by the sleeping bag. If I was really smart, I probably would have put a box down next to my sleeping bag so I could come back and grab another sleeping bag. And not have to, like, you know, go right up to the terror bird that just killed me. But we'll see if we can get around there. Alright. Yep, I could really use some spears or weapons right now. But, uh, okay. Scorpion. Just what we needed. Parkour! Alright. This place is crazy. <laughs> okay, there's the terror bird. He's just, he's just hanging out. Just waiting for me to come back. Just what I needed. Alright. If this doesn't work, we've got another spawn zone we could try. But I know I cannot take that terror bird. All right, all right, we gotta do this, come on. Give me all my stuff and run. <laughs> okay, okay, nope, that sounded bad. 
I think I just heard something. All right, all right, all right, let's do this. All right, come on, come on, okay. Okay, so, a skeleton might actually save me here. All right, let's get our stuff back. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am stressed. All right, let's get another sleeping bag down as fast as we can, guys. Fast as we can. We're gonna put it right up here. So if you're being chased by something and you see a skeleton like this, sometimes you can trap the creature that's after you in the skeleton and have a chance to survive because it might not be able to go through the middle and it'll give you some distance. So uh, highly recommend that if you are getting chased. All right, so um, let's get a box. Let's get a box. We need a little bit of wood. I think we can pull this off. I'm gonna try to put a, put a thing down. All right, that was very heavy. All right, all right. We got a box crafting. I don't like sand, get out of my inventory. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's put this over by the sleeping bag. <laughs> this is gonna be our temporary shelter for just a second here. We'll be able to find this again if we need to. All right, now, do we have enough to make another sleeping bag? Cause that would be amazing. Oh, we totally do, okay. We're putting down like three, four sleeping bags and then I'm gonna catch up on chat. We're gonna have a decent spawn point here. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of people watching. I am so excited about this. That's awesome. And I'm so sorry that I have missed all of you in chat. I've been running for my life nonstop this whole time. Uh, okay, let's see. 10 fortitude and let's get some more stamina because I'm just doing nothing but running right now. Okay, okay. Do we need engrams for bolas? Yes. Oh, 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 okay. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh, I'm too heavy to move. Thanks, Thyla. That's the desert for you. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to spawn right into this Thyla. But I don't want to go all the way back there. So, we're going to try something. All right. Do we have enough time to run? All right. Please let me run. <laughs> please let me run. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. He's right there. He's still after me. He's after me, but can I juke him around and use the pathfinding to my advantage? Okay. All right. Oh, nope, nope. Okay. He's right there. What I wouldn't give for a projectile weapon right now. I could totally kill you, Thyla. All right. Um Okay. Okay, this is this is not good. <laughs> it's like having a tiger by the tail, right? This is not good. All right, can I can I reach my stuff without him figuring it out? That's the real question. Is he still on me? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my gosh, no, I'm too heavy. Ah, ah, come on. No, no, it's this. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Okay. We've lost our sleeping bag. <sighs> that almost worked, you guys. That almost worked. <laughs> All right, at least we can spawn nearby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we outsmarted the Thyla. Dude, <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's good news. Now that we've made it to this spawn point, like I'm trying to do this with a bit of a challenge this time, you know? Cause I always show you guys how to make Ark easy, right? I'm trying to do it with a bit of a challenge. And uh, so I'm, I'm like, all right, if I make it to that spawn point, I can use that spawn point. So we've made it to the hard spawn point there or the medium spawn point. All right, where's the Thyla? If I can get some of my stuff without picking up the heavy stuff, we might be able to get our stuff back. Oh, and it's storming. Great! <laughs> just what we needed. Is the Thyla just like bored now? Did you just wander off? Alright. It's a sandstorm! Oh, there he is. Okay. Just give me my sleeping bags. Alright, alright. Give me my tools. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Running away! <laughs> Running away! <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything is so terrible on Scorched Earth. <laughs> dire wolves and terror birds, why not? <laughs> 
and a micro raptor. I can't even see what's going on out here, but all I can do is run. <laughs> all right, let's get up on this rock, because at least I can see a little bit around me. Okay, let's get dressed. <laughs> I'm leaving most of my stuff behind. <laughs> We're gonna put a sleeping bag down right over here. And we're gonna get back to running. Terror bird! <laughs> All right, you guys. This is absolutely the most ridiculous arc challenge I've ever done. <laughs> so far, we've already seen Titanosaurus. We've been killed by uh, Thylas like three times. We've uh, been chased by a rock golem. I see a friend over there who has built a house but I'm going to try to get up into these rocks. If I'm going to get some shelter, I want it to be in a good sheltered spot. You know, this is actually not a bad idea. Maybe I can, maybe I can get something up here. All right. I don't want to build a starter hut too close to somebody else, but, uh, Thyla. Okay. Maybe I don't want to go too far away either. All right. Let me see if I can get just a little bit of stuff here. Alright, let's see if we can get just a couple structures and get up onto this ridge, because that would be a really good respawn point. Okay, gonna need some fiber. I'm running out of water too, so we'll need some berries. So berries will give you just enough water to almost stay alive. Okay, let's get these guys in our hot bar. And we'll just like eat some stuff real quick. We'll do a little crafting. And I promise I'm gonna catch up on chat eventually. All right, so um, I'm gonna use one of my favorite little tricks for when we're brand new here, and uh, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a ladder out of our stuff. See if we can climb up onto this platform. So uh, let's see, maybe right here we can get up here. This looks promising. This looks very promising. Can I actually just parkour up here without anything? Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. All right, we can do this. I'm going to climb this mountain. All right. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, we're going to try to get some food here. All right, maybe this is actually going to be not a bad spot. I'm going to put up a sleeping bag up here. I guess I don't really need a uh, shelter. Oh, yeah, it's just a nice easy slope over here. That's cool. All right, we got two sleeping bags down now. And a, an oil node. This is actually a pretty cool spot. Check out that skeleton. The sun's coming up. It is a beautiful new day. It is a good day to die. <laughs> All right. Well, we're dehydrated. Should have seen that coming. We need a cactus. We can whack a cactus, get some stuff... And, and drink the cactus sap and stay barely alive. Uh, we've gotten pretty far away from the uh, the canyon. I keep hearing like little blips of people's voices. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Maybe I need a better cactus. All right. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can go over here. All right. Let's see. I haven't. I don't have any cactus, do I? Nope. All right. I'm gonna drink the berries as much as I can. And let's see if we can get something else down here. Alright, okay. We need some cacti. This don't look like the right kind of cacti, but let me see if I can... Okay, here we go. We got a moth. The racers are not aggressive. So let's see. Can I just, like, pick these cacti? Doesn't look like it matters. Okay. Let's see if we can get some of this. Is it, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very new to Scorched Earth. Is it, is it Hatchet that gets more Cactus Sap? I'm gonna try that, okay. Let's just get a bunch of Cactus Sap, because this stuff is very, it's very hydrating. Okay, the Hatchet seems to get more Cactus Sap, which is kind of surprising to me. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna just, like, dump some stuff. <laughs> I keep making things and then dumping them, and, you know, that's just, that's just how we're gonna roll for a little bit. All right. Get a couple more spears while we're here. So I'm already seeing stuff that's trying to kill me. Need some flint. 
and then we'll get back to uh, back to our epic journey because I don't want to stop for very long. Normally I build like a nice little starter base and all that stuff, but right now we're just trying to trying to get to the town as fast as we can because I hear at the town there's a horse for us. And that's going to be a game changer because uh, we can't outrun very much stuff on foot with no movement speed that we can boost. So, uh, yeah. All right. So we're, we're doing better. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit more fortitude. I mean, might even do some health in a little bit. Like, we're, we're gaining some levels. We're staying alive for a long time, which is a real accomplishment in the desert. Uh, I'm going to drink a little bit more cactus sap, keep my water up. I'm trying to keep an eye on my water. Uh, actually, I should keep an eye on my water in real life. Ah, you know, after playing Ark uh, on live stream and people kept reminding me that I was dying of dehydration all the time. Hey, little jug bug. Speaking of rehydrating. Thank you. Whoa. What? Okay. Dude, no. Why? <laughs> Where did that even come from? Why are you like this scorched earth? Why? <laughs> I'm not even running in the right direction. I don't even know anymore. It's hard to keep your bearings while you're getting chased all the time. Okay. I'm gonna run right past this Morella Tops and seriously hope that he doesn't have any friends. So um, I started explaining this earlier, but then I got attacked again. Um, when Morella Tops are by themselves, they run away if you attack them. When there's more than one, like two, they attack you. They become aggressive because they get really bold when they're, uh, you know, in numbers. Because that's the kind of wimps that they are. Okay. So I'm going to start going around this way. Yeah, this looks like a whole mountain here. I'm going to go around this mountain this direction. But there's a saber tooth. I think I lost him, actually. Did I? Yeah. There's a Deodon over there, though. Okay, not liking that at all. Can I just go around it this way? That's gonna be rough. What do you think, chat? Should I go past the Deodon and save myself a lot of running? I mean, I could easily die anyway. Do I have more than one sleeping bag? Let's see. <laughs> okay, Dodicarus, you freaked me out for a second, but I'm so happy to see you right now. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna put this down. I think I just dropped my storage box. <laughs> yeah, I totally did. Do I have enough for another one? All right, let's grab a little bit more wood and I'm gonna put down a storage box. What is that? What is that? Dude, I can't get a break. It's a Microraptor. I don't wanna deal with that right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Morella Tops, please be my friend. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna hide. Dude, no, 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 okay. <laughs> Even this thing's kind of freaking me out. Oh, there's the saber tooth. Yep, okay. There's the micro raptor. Everything is crazy and everything wants to eat me. Okay. Sometimes micro raptors spawn in small groups though, so that could be a problem too. Okay. Let me just put down a storage box. Put some stuff down next to my sleeping bag, including another sleeping bag. And uh I think we're gonna have to go around this way, because there is way too much stuff that's going to kill us down there. <laughs> I feel bad. Like, I'm just littering this desert. Like, uh, let me know in the, if you guys are watching any other Monarch live streams if people see random boxes and complain about them. Because uh, that's totally probably my fault. I am such a litter bug here. Okay. I really don't want to go up this mountain. Because then I have to come back down. But i got to figure out a way to get around these guys. Is this slope down at all? Like, there's just a Deodon and, a, and another thing, and... Okay, maybe... Maybe I could do this. There's the Sabertooth. He might aggro on the Morella Tops. And if I can get around the Microraptor... Okay. I think I got a plan. <laughs> it's stupid, but we'll see if it works. Alright, let's get some, uh... Let's get some drinks. At least we got enough fortitude. We're not dying of dehydration yet. All right, there's the saber too. Oh, does he see me already? Dude, dude, <laughs> all right. We're just, we're just always going to be running here. That's why we've got the fortitude and the water and the uh, stamina. We're just running. We're just running. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to go up and around the day of dawn while I'm being chased by the... Um, Sabertooth. Now I'm dehydrated. We're gonna drink while running. 
Always a good idea. And, uh, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Okay. I don't hear any scary music. That's a good sign. I think we lost it, Moth. I think we're okay. Okay. Of course there's a Carno. Why wouldn't there be a Carno? Alright, I'm gonna get closer to the canyon. Because at least... At least if I'm close to the canyon, I know one side is safe. <laughs> you know? Alright. Now, if you see a big creature like a racer... I mean, actually, the racers don't really get bothered by stuff. But if you see, like, a non-aggressive creature, that's usually a very good sign, because at least you know that if something would be attacked by something else... Okay. Okay. Everything over here wants to eat me. Let's go this way. Let's just go this way. I dropped my last sleeping bag next to my other spawn point. Probably would be nice to have right about now. All right, he doesn't see me. Of course, there's a micro raptor, and it's too late to turn back now. Wait, is he not attacking me? Nope. Okay, get out of here. Go, 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 go. How fast is this thing? All right, just go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Everything wants to eat me in this desert. <laughs> oh, hello, ants. Just, just bye. <laughs> just, I don't even care anymore. Bye. <laughs> oh, now the music's coming. All right. <laughs> oh, terror birds. Every, everything is just, yeah. Yeah. Everything is after us right now. Okay. Okay. If the, uh, if there weren't so many cacti, I might, oh, a megatherium. All right. You know what? Um, I'm just going to run right past you. And, uh. Hopefully the terror birds are going to come after him. And we're just going to get out of here as fast as we can. Dude, where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need to recharge my stamina. Something's... What the heck, man? There's a pig just waiting for me. Hakuna Matata, dudes. Oh, all right. Eating cactus sap as fast as I can. Uh, okay, okay. We're just gonna go this way. <laughs> alright, alright. I hear stuff everywhere. Oh. Um. What's, what's your deal, dude? Okay. RGs. Great, great. Just what I need. And just what I need. Okay, great! <laughs> Please keep each other busy for just a few minutes while I run all the way around you. And yeah, I'm really missing the old, oh, that's something. I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna run. I am just gonna run. All right, all right. I don't even care what's after me. I just, if I see, if I see something move, I'm just running, all right. I hear a Tapehara, you guys, and I know somebody's gonna chew me out about the way I pronounce that, but look it up, it's correct. Okay, okay. This is no time for semantics. This is a perfect time to panic. Okay, okay, Carno, Scorpion, Wolves, low on stamina, low on water. <laughs> okay. How are we doing here? Still alive somehow. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's just, let's just keep going. <laughs> when life gets tough, what are you gonna do? Just keep running. Okay. I don't know how we're still al alive. Can we like maybe have like two square feet that doesn't have something trying to kill me just, just for what, for a change? All right, I'm tired. I'm so tired, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what this arc throws at me. I'm not giving up. Did we lose those guys? Is that a dead Carno? What? What? Okay. Okay. We're about to have a big problem. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hide. 
until the Anki and the Karnos start fighting. Which is gonna happen any second now. What is what is he doing? Please tell me the server's not crashing. Cause that would be Okay, you know what? Is he glitched? I don't know. I don't care. I'm gonna run, he's busy. That's what's important. I don't know what you're eating, guy, but I'm out of here. All right, all right, all right. We are out of here. Okay, that's a sulfur rock. I was like, is this just gonna jump out and attack me? I mean, that's just that's just the nature of things out here. Even the rocks go after you. All right. Just gonna stop. I hear wings. Why do I hear wings? I hear I see shadow. Is it is there is there an RG like right above me? Come on. <laughs> okay, there he is. I, I think we're okay for a second. I'm out of everything. Alright. We're not okay. We're not okay. We need more berries so we don't starve to death. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. I do seem to be having a little bit of lag here, so that's not great. It's not great. Whoa, that's such a cool Tapehara! I want it! I want that Tape. I want it. <laughs> Alright, I see a horse out there and I'm tempted to just try and tame it, right? Just just try and tame my own horse. Okay guys, um, so according to the sheriff, the town is actually somewhere around here. I would love if I could get a sleeping bag down. Because if I go in any direction, something's going to kill me. There's got to be something to, to skin around here. I've been needing to skin something around here. I haven't really done a uh, cowboy accent because I've been too stressed out. <laughs> but, because, uh, you, know, you know, cowboys, they're just always cool. They don't get stressed out if you're a cowboy. I guess that would have been a good idea. Just, just, just stay cowboy about it. All right, so somewhere around here, there has to be something that hasn't been eaten yet. That I actually have a chance, no, okay, nope. Just gonna run again. We're running again, and I'm running, and everything's after me again, and we're glitching and lagging, and it's just, uh, just having a day. We are just having a day. All right, how are we doing? Sabretooth still after me? I just heard an RG, and here's hoping that was the sound of him landing and not coming after me, because they make the same sound when they're coming after you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'd even be able to see anything out here. I think I lost him. Okay. What is that? It's a Carno. And a Thorny Dragon. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. We're gonna stop for a second. I'm gonna grab some berries. And get a little bit of water. So berries don't like replenish your water much. They give you like just enough to stay about the same amount of water. But they keep you from totally drowning. I mean totally dehydrating. Alright, there's Carno up there. And an Anki. If I'm lucky the Anki like so the best case scenario is that Anki fights with the Carno. And then the Carno wins, or the Anki wins, and then I can actually harvest the Carno. Because I really need some hide for a sleeping bag. And I can't actually kill anything. Okay, I'm just gonna drop the stuff I can't use, eat a bunch of berries, and hopefully, uh, you know, get some water back. I do seem to be a little bit laggy on the server right now, which is not great. So let me, uh, let me, let me try to catch up on chat a little bit here, you guys. And, uh, yeah. Whew. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably like 10 minutes behind on chat, so sorry about that. Maybe like an hour behind on chat? I don't know. Time flies when you're just getting eaten by everything in the world. So the server <laughs> seems to be getting a little bit laggy. Um, I'm taking this little moment that I have to slow down and try to try to restock on on everything. I've been alive for a long time, you guys. I just can't get sleeping bag. Okay. 
You got trapped in your base by a Morella Tops. That's awesome. But you used spears until it died and claimed its baby. That's amazing, Chrissy. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Dread. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys could hit that like button, that'd be awesome because, uh, you know, I am uh, definitely working hard on this stream to stay alive as much as I can, you know? Okay. So. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can see the town. I can see the town, but there's a saber tooth in the way. All right. I am plotting my route right now. Carno, 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 Car. Everywhere is Carnos. Great. Thorny dragon. Great. RG. Great. Saber tooth just waiting for me to come down there. Great. What else we got? All right. All right. Let's do this, guys! Let's YOLO. All right. I'm going to conserve my stamina. I'm going to stock up on all the berries. I was going to try to save some Mejo berries in case I could try to tame that horse that I spotted, but uh, forget that. We're getting all of our water back because when we start running and it's hot, we're going to start losing water fast. Okay, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. We're heading for the town, which is right towards our last death. A little bit foreboding there. Okay, so we're gonna go this direction. All right, I got some RGs over there. I hear a thorny dragon. All right, I hear a lot of thorny dragons. Okay, so for Christmas, my wife got me these amazing headphones. I love them but they are really helping me to be able to tell what direction deadly stuff is coming from. Okay, don't jump too far on the slope. All right, all right, where's the town? It's gotta be down this way, right? Great, I seem to have lost it. It was, it was right in this direction. Oh, hey, Dode. Hey, dude, Dode, whatever. All right, let's get some more cactus sap so we don't, uh, you know, dehydrate. Oh man, I'm having some pretty bad lag, you guys. This, this lag could actually be the death of us. I don't think I can take on a Dodicarus because they'll curl up into a ball and, uh, you know. Oh, this lag is really bad. Okay. Yeah. This could be a problem, you guys. But I saw the town. It's out this way. I need to get on a rock so I can see better. Oh, dude. Nope. Oh, there's the town. There's the town. Okay. Okay. Running from a Deodon, and we see the town in sight. Okay, um, let's just let's just get some distance here. Okay, we need to get up there. There's a Rue. What is that? Okay, there's a Carno, just patrolling the town. All right, guys, we've got one shot to make it into town. If we don't make it into town without that Carno seeing us, we are in trouble. Okay, so for those of you who watch- Oh my gosh, the lag! No, this is bad. This is really bad. I've got to give so much space, you guys. This could be- This could be the de- Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the town even? Oh my gosh, you guys. If we disconnect here- If we disconnect here, I am going to be so sad. Okay. Okay, come on. We gotta- We gotta make it. How bad is- How bad is the lag? Okay. Restarting in five minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, we've got to do this you guys. We have got to do this What is that? It's a jug bug. Okay. Okay. We got to get to town <laughs> Before anything kills us before the server wipe. Oh my gosh Okay, so in five minutes the server is going to get reset. We're getting into town We're gonna hide as fast as we can <laughs> because the server is about to reset you guys, check this out! It's the town! We've made it! We have made it! What is happening? Somebody just passed out in the sheriff's office. Okay! Well, guys. Well, guys, I'm pinging all over the place. I am bouncing around. I am going to hide in the jail so I can survive. Oh, man. This was the most insane trip I've ever had. Whew. Okay, guys. Okay. Somebody's I think we're disconnecting. 
I think we're going to disconnect, but we are going to hide in town. I'm just going to curl up back here behind a sleeping bag and just take a little rest because I am so tired from all that scary running. <laughs> well, we've been streaming for like an hour and a half. I think I'm going to take like a five, ten minute break. The server's got to restart. I'm going to need to disconnect anyway so the server can reset. I'm going to take like a 15, 20 minute break. But please, all of you who are watching, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell to enable all notifications because I'm going to start the stream again after like maybe a 30 minute break, 15 minute break, whatever it takes for the server to come back. I'll be back as soon as I can. But this has been the most terrifying, death-defying run I have ever had. But we made it halfway across this section of the map. We, we ran a long way through the desert. And uh, we are going to try and grab a horse and claim our favorite base spot after this. So we'll be back. We still could lose everything with one death. But we're going to do our best. So... Yes, please make sure you like that stream. If you have been enjoying watching my terrifying run across the desert, please subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications. Because if you don't do that, we will probably uh, miss when I start the stream back up again. I'll try to schedule it for like, you know, 3.45, so in like 15 minutes, if I can. Maybe 30, but keep an eye out. <laughs> Let me check stream real quick. Yes, put a sleeping bag down. That is a very good idea. All right. Yes. Yes, Bad Luck is a free DLC that's included in every arc map. I cannot believe we survived everything to get here. So we'll be back in like 15 minutes, and we'll keep on streaming. I will see you guys in the next episode, which is coming in like five minutes, of... Arc Survival Guide Monarchy Season 5. I am so excited to be here, you guys. And I am so excited to continue this in just a few minutes after just a short break. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll be back soon for more insane dying all the time on Scorched Earth.